Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy you're here with me. Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a beautiful glam Christmas wreath using boa feathers from Dollar Tree. First, I will show you the materials. All the materials are from Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. We will need a round floral ring like this one. Since this one is green, we will also need some white or silver metallic spray paint available from your local hardware store. And for the star of the show, we will need one to two sets of feather boa scarves in white or whatever color you prefer. This one I have is 42 inches in length. If you prefer a full, fuller look on your wreath, I would recommend using two of the feather boa scarves. We will also need a couple of silver and or gold glitter poinsettia clips like these ones. And to light up the wreath, we will need a battery operated LED string light or fairy light. The one I'll be using came with batteries and was purchased from Amazon and worked out to be a dollar a piece when purchased in bulk. And as per most of my craft projects, we will also need our handy dandy glue gun. My glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, spray paint the foam floral ring completely to cover the green. You may need two generous coats. Then start wrapping the feather boa around the reef, gluing sections of it down with some hot glue. And while we work on that, I would also like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy Glam Home Decor and DIY Crafts on a Budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once the entire wreath is covered, attach the poinsettia clips using a bit of hot glue to secure them firmly to the wreath. You will see here that I've chosen to place the entire poinsettia onto the wreath and then I'm cutting individual leaves from the second poinsettia to place them around the first one. Oh, come. 
what our wreath looks like so far. The final step is to weave the string lights around the wreath and then hide the battery pack unit towards the back side of the wreath. And here is the final look for our feather boa Christmas wreath. I'm thinking of hanging this wreath indoors by my fireplace mantle, or maybe in the front hallway above my console table. Comment down below and let me know where you think I should hang this wreath. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all again soon! Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful.